new bike day but not for me for the kids i'm going to show you the new bikes that my kids got uh, here's the first one vetus nucleus 26 inch for my nine-year-old boy and uh man this is a sweet bike for the money unfortunately since i bought it back in july this is now december 29th right now a few days after christmas the price has gone up from i bought it for 600 now i'm sorry 630 now this bike is 850 so the bike has gone up 220 bucks in just the last six months or so i don't really know when it jumped up in price but man I don't know. I kind of think 850 might be on the expensive side for this. But I just want to go over the specs and the components. Uh, well, components. I don't really know much about the specs. But it's got hydraulic Tektro brakes. Uh, and they are plenty good for a kid, especially. The Suntour. XCR32 uh, air fork. Like it's actually an air fork. It's got a lockout. Uh, set the sag. It don't come with an O-ring up there. So my daughter's got some stretchy bands uh, for bracelet and necklace making, and I just use that to tie it in a knot. Where's my knot? There. I just tied it in a knot around there for a. For an o-ring and i set the sag for him and i think we're at 55 pounds and it's great this one nope not this side the other side the other side has rebound and it feels pretty decent i mean you know it's a cheap fork but works great uh the drivetrain is a box four eight speed Take my word for it, it's not going to show up on camera, but back here, box four, eight speed. Uh, this cassette is 11 to 40 tooth with a, uh, I forgot, 30, no, 32 tooth chain ring on the front. My boy's already added his own pedals from his old bike. Added the water bottle cage. Uh, which brings me to another thought. I weighed this bike, and now, right now as it sets, it is uh, 29 pounds exactly. Um, it used to be 29 and a half, but um, I went tubeless on these factory tires. Um, I, I had to tape them up, tape up the wheels, you know, add sealant, add the stems. And these tires, they are not rated tubeless. But this is the Swallaby Knobby Nick. And you can read any of that stuff. Nothing says tubeless. And actually, these particular ones are wire bead. But man, they lock into the bead so good, it was hard to get them off. And then they snapped back on and they aren't coming off. I even took all the air out again and they do not pop off the bead at all. Sorry, I'm back now. Kids are playing basketball and we had an argument I had to take care of. So, <laughs> uh, anyways, I was on the tires. Yeah, uh, they're wire bead, but they lock into the rim so good they are really hard to snap off. So, um, I, I had no issues at all getting these to uh, air up tubeless and sealant plugs up everything and no worries. Uh, what else can we talk about on here? I think that's about it. So here we are now with the smaller one. This is the 24 inch. Let me get my shadow out of there. This red is beautiful. It sparkles, it shines, it is awesome looking. So this one also has the box Ford eight speed drivetrain, but the difference is this one is 11 to 34 teeth. Like I said, on the 26 inch, it comes with 11 to 40 teeth. But as far as I can tell, it's the same shifter and derailleur. 
So if we needed to, I'm sure I could just swap out the cassette to a bigger one. Um, but it also has, now this one might have a 28 tooth chain ring, but it's covered up with this uh, uh, guide. And so I can't see it and I don't remember what the website says. But anyway, so far out on the trails and everything, she's happy and she hasn't had any problems. This also has a Suntour XCR air fork. Uh, but, I mean, like I said, this is a 24 inch. It is an air fork, but this one doesn't have the rebound down at the bottom like the 26 inch did. And this one has 28 millimeter stanchions. But, anyways, she loves it, especially compared to her old Walmart bike. Um, man, this, this is just sweet. Uh, and this one is also tubeless. I taped up the rims. I used the factory tires and everything. No problem seating these. And these are Swallaby Rocket Rons. And you can see all the logo and stuff. And nothing says tubeless on here. But it's still set up tubeless very easily. And it's not leaking, you know, a sealant or nothing. And I don't know if I said this on the other bike, but I've got the tires, the air pressure at 30 pounds front and rear. Um, you know, with kids, they're not worried about low pressures to get the ultimate grip and everything. My main concern for going, wanting to go tubeless was uh, uh, not having to worry about punctures and replacing tubes every time they hit a sharp rock or a thorn. Uh, it's got the same Tektro brakes. And what else? That's about it. But these bikes are uh, great for the money. Uh, talking about money, this particular one was 600 when I bought it back in July. And now it is 800 If I'm correct. I think it is right now. At this moment, it's 800 So it's gone up 200 bucks, just like the other one. Um, so I am so glad that I bought them back in July. This is my brand new bike uh, that I just got for Christmas. Um, it's a few days after and I've already rode it and it actually feels so much better than my old one. What I've added were the little zip ties here, the, the pedals. Um, it used to come with black pedals that weren't the metal things, but then I also had um, added this. Um, the water bottle cage? Yeah, the water bottle cage. One of them that you can pull out this way instead of this way. You can do, still do it that way. But also, so, the gearing is much better. It's way lower. And it has um, two or one or more than my older one. But it's so much better. And I finally have hydraulic brakes. I yeah. added the bell. Um... My dad, they came too with the tubes, but my dad changed it to tubeless. Another th the thing that I did to the bike are the brakes. You see that little screw right there? Right there. They used to be like right here, but my dad shorted them in right here so my fingers could hold it. It he's, also. He's talking know. about uh, this, this little screw right there. Uh, the brakes, the brake lever was further out away from the bars, and we adjusted it so that it was easier for his finger to reach the brake. Also, the brake lever was right here against the grip, and and so the lever was here. So even using one finger, show him, Braden. If you stuck out one finger, his finger was grabbing right here, which is not ideal. So I I swapped the brake and shifter so that it's easier for him just to use one finger which these brakes are great for one finger braking and uh, be able to grab the end of the lever instead of up here and not have much leverage um so another thing different from this bike is the fork it's finally an air fork which is actually really good and i like it so much and now i have a fork that moves um this is a 26, 
My older one was a 24. The wheels are 26s, but the frame is a 24 bike frame. What, what he means is I did a little bit of measuring, um, and his old Walmart bike, the um, 24 inch wheels, they just call it a 24 inch bike. And from here to the center of the bottom bracket is the same distance. I don't remember my numbers. It don't really matter. This, this one gets... But from here, from the seat post, uh, I just measured from the seat post to the center of the head tube. And it's just a little and bit longer. And it was about 15 millimeter longer. Which, so that just makes the reach a little bit longer. But then again, this stem is only, I think it's a... Does it say 35 millimeter? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, uh, the stem is short on this one, but long on his old one. So I think the reach is about the same. So to him, what he was explaining to me is it feels about the same size, but he can tell he's faster on it, probably because this bike is five pounds lighter and bigger wheels roll over things easier. Okay, this is Ashlyn's bike, so I thought I'd bring her in and let her tell you what she likes about this new 24-inch Vetus Nucleus. The first thing that I like about it is these new pedals. They're grippier. My last one didn't have these ones. Yeah, they her old screws. bike wasn't able to accept new pedals, uh, so we were able to get her some pedals for this one. Now, this is not what came with it, like on the other one. Um, it still had just the slick just plastic pedals so we put the uh, grippy flat pedals on so that her feet don't slip off when she goes over bumps speaking of going over bumps how is this one um, we, we got a new fork it's yeah like an air fork. I can bounce. yeah well, you might not be quite heavy enough I have 40 pounds of pressure in her fork and uh, the recommendation in the, in the handbook of the Suntour fork, uh, it said anywhere from 40 to 55 pounds. So I thought I better not go below 40. And the second thing I like about it is the new gears. I used to have seven gears, but now we have eight. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I also like that it goes faster. Like, my old bike used to go a little bit fast, but now this one goes pretty fast. Why? Because it's much more lighter. Oh. Yeah, this one is actually uh, three pounds lighter. Her old bike was 28 pounds, and this one, uh, I weighed it after going tubeless and everything, and we are right at 25 pounds. Cage. Yeah. I used to not have one, but now I do. See, if you put a water bottle in, you don't have to just slide out like this. You can pull it out like this. That's right. And I, that thing that I really like is this. What's that for? It's for light if you're going night riding. I have a light holder on my helmet, kind of like this, that can hold the light. I, uh, I really like the zip ties here because they used to be black, now they're pink. All of them are pink. And these ones, I think it was these ones, they were coming off. But the zip ties were gone. Maybe yeah. Because it was too tight. Well, actually, because they weren't zip ties at all, they were just the plastic clips. And, of course, they fall off going down the trails and litter oh. the trails anyway, so we just get rid of them and put zip ties on all right, Braden wanted to do a jump here. I've got this jump built, and I just wanted to show you, compared to him, how big it is. Um, what would you say? That's about a foot and a half or so tall. Um, it's not a big jump, but I wanted to try to zoom in and do slow-mo on the fork movement and just show how it works, because he's liking to jump and everything. I'm more of a twisty, turny, berm kind of guy. He's more of a jump kind of guy.
Okay, Ashlyn wanted to show now what she looks like going over the ramp. So that's how big the ramp is compared to her bike. So now we're going to put her in slow-mo and let her jump it. So, final thoughts on the kids' Vetus Nucleus 26 inch and 24 inch. Do I recommend them? Absolutely. Now then, I'm comparing them to Walmart bikes, okay? Uh, so, you know, if you've already gone on to, um, from department store bikes to local bike shop bikes, like Trek or anything else, Marlins, I don't know. I cannot compare to those. Uh, but my thoughts, coming from Walmart, heavy steel bikes to these, absolutely. These are awesome. Um, so anyways, um, I don't know of anything else. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments. Um, I'm not, I don't regularly get on here to, uh, to look at the comments and stuff because, you know, I just make videos just showing people my experiences on these bikes. Uh, I'm not an official YouTuber, so. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And uh, I thank you so very much for watching. You all have a great day and a happy 2022. See ya.